Protein powder is one of the most effective tools for enhancing muscle growth, accelerating recovery, and supporting fat loss. However, improper use could result in wasted time, effort, and money. In this video, we'll explore five critical mistakes many people make when using protein powder, all supported by scientific research. By understanding and avoiding these common pitfalls, you'll unlock the full potential of your supplement and elevate your training results. Mistake 1. Thinking that more protein automatically means better results. Many people think that consuming excessive amounts of protein will help them build muscle faster. However, the science tells us otherwise. A review in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition recommends that exercising individuals should aim for approximately 1.4-2.0 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day to optimize exercise-induced adaptations. More protein than this may not always provide extra benefits for muscle growth, but higher intakes may improve body composition in some cases. Mistake 2. Relying on protein powder as a meal replacement. Protein powder is a convenient supplement, but it should never replace whole foods. Whole foods offer an array of essential nutrients, including fiber, vitamins, and minerals, that protein powders typically lack. Researchers highlight the importance of incorporating a wide variety of nutrient-dense whole foods into your diet to achieve optimal health and performance. While protein powder is excellent for supplementation, whole foods are, are irreplaceable for a balanced diet. Mistake 3. Limiting protein sources to only whey. Whey protein is commonly considered the best choice due to its rapid digestion and high leucine content. However, limiting yourself to just whey protein can restrict your muscle building potential. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggests that other proteins, such as casein, egg white, or plant-based options, offer unique advantages. Casein, for instance, digests slowly, providing a sustained release of amino acids, which can help with recovery, especially during fasting periods like overnight. Mistake 4. Choosing low-quality protein powders. Not all supplements are created equal. Some powders are packed with fillers, additives, or low-quality protein sources that offer less bioavailability. According to a study in Frontiers in Nutrition, the best results come from using powders that have complete amino acid profiles, are third-party tested, and have transparent ingredient labeling. Picking the right protein can make a huge difference in your muscle building and recovery efforts. Mistake 5. Failing to adjust protein intake based on your training or goals. Your protein needs aren't fixed. They change depending on whether you're bulking, cutting, or altering your workout intensity. A study published by the National Institutes of Health shows that athletes in a calorie deficit may require higher protein intakes to preserve lean body mass. To truly maximize your progress, your supplementation strategy must evolve alongside your training plan. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more evidence-based fitness advice. Drop your questions or personal experiences with protein powder in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.